वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू अन्ना द वीडियो नाव आई डू हैव अ मेक अ रिलेटेड न्यूज आई डोंट डू न्यूज स्नेपेट्स वेरी रेग्युलरली बट दिस वन डिजर्व अ स्पॉट एंड दिस न्यूज कमिंग फ्रॉम इंटेल ऑफ ऑल द अदर आई ओ टी मैन्युफैक्चर्स एंड द न्यूज इज क्वाइट शॉकिंग बट ऑल्सो एट द सेम टाइम सॉर्ट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेड सो इंटेल जस्ट एंडेड ऑल सपोर्ट वेल नॉट ऑल सपोर्ट बट प्रोडक्शन फॉर एन अनाउंस द एंड ऑफ लाइफ फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ देयर आई ओ टी हार्डवेयर डेवलपमेंट किट एक्सेप्ट फॉर द क्यूरी चिप सो क्यूरी अ साइड क्यूरी इज जस्ट एन आर्डिनो लेवल ऑफ चिप सेट नॉट रियली अ बिग एक्स एटी सिक्स और एनी थिंग लाइक दैट सो इंडियन अनाउंस द डेथ ऑफ गैलेलियो जूल एज वेल एज एडिसन now for something like galileo it is understandable it is a very old platform uh, and extremely slow but in uh, edison and jewel were very very recent developments edison was extremely famous and i have seen uh, a lot of people use it in their projects and something like jewel was very very recently announced uh, when comparing to the other two platforms so why did this happen uh there are a lot of faces to this story of, of why it could happen a few years ago intel had announced that they were, will be diverting all resources from their desktop development uh, for their desktop cpus into the iot space and announced a bunch of uh, new plans uh, for iot that also included jewel and the uh, acquisition of all altera for fpgas so with that said uh, intel was not prepared for ryzen to come up uh, they were basically uh, aiming for 20 to 15% of performance improvement in their desktop lineup every uh, other generation and what happened was ryzen really really just slammed into their faces with processors half the uh, half the price and uh, be- with better performance and really really caught intel with their pants down and they were in a surprise they still are they have nothing left to do so they are i guessing i'm guessing for some time shutting all of the iot stuff Uh, to the lowest gear possible and moving back to desktop because that's where the money is uh, any amount of money intel spends on iot or the things their main income will always remain uh, desktop and uh, workstation and server grade cpus and that's where intel gets its major revenue from and if someone is beating intel at their own game investors are not going to be very happy and intel is going to lose a lot of money so that is for me one of the main reason that intel is sort of pulling out from iot or seems to be pulling out from iot for the moment uh, apart from that thing uh, i really uh, wished that intel had gone into uh, arm based development kit they already have the license to cre- get uh, to create arm based cpus for their fpgas uh, and they could have done it with their iot platform instead of going for x86 now x86 does produce a lot of heat consumes a lot of power when you compare it head to head with arm you can get arm cpus for the exact amount of max uh, power consumption and you can get more cores on arm so and even more clock speed at times Uh, so yes, for something so simple as IoT, where you don't really need all that processing power, all those extra instructions of an x86 CPU should have gone with ARM. It would have been cheaper, and probably a lot of people would have adopted it earlier. So again, sales weren't that great either. So yes, a few things did uh, result in Intel finally dropping their three major. Uh, major chips in um, or major development kits for iot and spinning back for a while uh, so what i think intel will do if they have some brains uh, which i think they do they're still there uh, and that is to either get iot based kit based on their altera max fpgas or 
whatever their uh, altera based fpgas are and if they have to go for a uh, more cpu bound solution go ahead with arm based cpu custom built by intel and i think they have that caliber they have been building cpus for a long time and if they want to build a custom arm cpu they can bloody well do that so that's it for this one very small i guess topic of why intel why i think intel dropped uh, like their iot platform suddenly and i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one